there were any fruit on it. But he was always disappointed. Finally, he said to the gardener, I've waited three years and there hasn't been a single fig. Cut it down. It's just taking up space in the garden. Amen. Amen. Then the garden answered, Sir, give it one more chance. Leave it another year. And I'll give it special attention and plenty of fertilizer. If we get figs next year, it's fine. If not, then we can cut it down. This is how Jesus pleads for us. Uh -huh. Jesus pleads our case. You know, there's so many people that just look like they're just worthless. Uh -huh. They in the Lord, they come to church, but they ain't got no fruit. They go to church every week, ain't bearing no good fruit. Uh -huh. Ain't nothing coming out of that church but some bad seeds. Uh -huh. God planted you. God done planted. Now I'm talking to the people here. Mm -hmm. God planted you here for a reason. Mm -hmm. You were planted here. It's been almost three years now. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all haven't produced anything. Jesus. Some of y'all are still sitting where you was when you first got here. Mm -hmm. You ain't produced anything. You're not growing fruit. You're still, I'm still going through the same merry-go-round over and over. You still need deliverance from the same thing. Jesus. You still don't want change. You're still not trying. You've been coming and coming and coming. You're faithful to the ministry, but not to God. Jesus. You're not producing what God needs you to produce Jesus. for his kingdom. Mm -hmm. He needs production My in the God. kingdom, in the body of Christ. We need production, not financial production. Right. Not material production. He said, I would that you prosper and be in good health. Yes. But he said, even as your soul prosper. The soul got to prosper first. Amen. And if you've been in church, if you've been saved, if you've been going through the motions, and your soul ain't prosper, mm. then I think you need to check your walk, oh baby. God. He said, I'll pluck them up, I'll cut them down. Jesus. If this tree don't grow by next year, Cut it down. My God. Amen. God is saying it's time out for us playing church. It's time out for the religious yes. aspect of it. Uh -huh. We're so religious. We're so traditional. Everybody know how to do the all that, all the, you know. Uh -huh. But don't nobody really know how to truly get them in your heart. Because when you get them in your heart deep, you desire not to sin. Yes. That's Your right. desire is not to sin against God. Mm -hmm. Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Yes. My desire is to serve him, to walk uprightly before him. My desire is to really, truly be a woman or a man of God. A young man, a young... I'm not going to keep going over the same thing over and over. I'm not going to keep falling through the same trap. Yes. I know better. I have been that route before. Yes. No, devil, show me something else. Mm, my God. You're not going to keep trapping me in the, in the same, same sexual place. sin. My You're not going to keep trapping me and I keep getting high every Ooh. week. Ooh, every week God. I'm steady to and then turn around and ask God to forgive me every week. I got to get it right. Amen. Or die trying. Amen. I cannot continue. God will cut me off. Mm. We turn around and we be blessed by God. Mm -hmm. He spares our life. A lot of us should have been dead. Yes. A lot of us should have been and lost our mind. Yes. He spares our life. We be blessed by God and then we turn around and spit on him. Uh. We turn around and say, you know what, I ain't got time. The church is us, yes. Yes. But the Bible says, forsake not the assemblies also. Yes. So this is what I want you to do. I know some people been hurt by church, because I was. Mm -hmm. And it's hard for me to, to fellowship with people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because of the, the, the religious thing, to have you all stressed out, because people didn't judge you or spoke against you, just because you're different. But at the same time, ask God to order your footsteps. Put me in a... a Bible-based church that's true, that's speaking the word, yes. not meticulous. Go whoop me when I need to be whooped. Oh, my God. And then turn around and love on me. Yes. But that, that, that I'm a, I know for a fact that I'm going to be whooped into shape. Mm. I'm not going to be able to yes. sit amongst yes. the crowd mm -hmm. and hide and dip and slide yes. and still do me and my pastor don't 
going to see me doing me. Because one thing about God over here, he going to show me you. Jesus. And he going to show me your little mess and your little issue. So by the time you think about coming and tell me, I already know. Mm -hmm. My God. That's a man or woman of God that's attentive to God. Yes. Hears from God and attentive to his sheep. Yes. Yes. Amen. You're supposed to know what your sheep doing. Your sheep going straight. You going to feel it. Wait a minute. Where is he at? I ain't seen him in a couple. Because I know who God assigned to me. Mm -hmm. So when I don't see him, I get to question. Have you talked to such and such? Mm -hmm. Have you heard from such and such? I'm not going to badger you and beat you into serving God. You got to want this thing for yourself. That's right. Amen. You got to make a, a made up mind. I can't take you to heaven. Yes. Or the hell. Amen. So how can I make if I can't make you serve him. All I can do is preach this word. If you don't choose to serve him, then what can I do? But I did give it. Yes. That's if you it. choose to dip and slide and tip and be lukewarm, what can I do? Nothing. I can't twist nobody's arm to live right. Amen. Amen. But I, I, I would get sick of getting beat in the head with the word. Yes. <laughs> I, I would get sick of this by now. Out. Amen. Yes. Turn the ropes. <laughs> so we, we don't want God to cut it down. We don't want him to cut us down. Amen. We want to live. Amen. Amen. I said I'll destroy you if you don't listen. Jesus. When all kind of calamity come, I'm going to turn my back. I don't even hear you. What you say? <laughs> Who is that calling? Who? Who was that calling me? When I called to them, where was they at? Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 6. It's time out for the excuses. Amen. It's time out for the excuses. Yes, well, God, I was hurt. Well, God, this happened. Well, God, that. God got some true men and women of God that truly love his people and truly trying to serve God for real, for real. Yeah, for real. Now, I'm one of them with an issue. Amen. I got a couple of issues now. I, go, I'm a, I will not stand up here and say, oh, I'm perfect. I got it all together. Oh, I'm so holy. Holy, holy. Nah, uh mm -hmm. Catch me on a bad day. Catch you tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Romans 6 and 1. Well then, should we keep on sinning so that God can show us more and more of his wonderful grace? Of course not. Since we have died to sin, how can we continue to live in it? Mm -hmm. Saints, tongue-talking saints, yes. tongue-talking on the wall saints, oh, on the wall praying, and stumble out fasting and praying on the wall, and then as soon as you get off the wall, you up in something between somebody's legs. As oh, soon as you God. get off the wall, you somewhere calling Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> Say you fasted oh, and God. next thing you know you over there sneaking eating some chicken and your sisters think you praying with them right. and you over there with some gobbling down some chicken supposed to be fasting. Oh, oh my God. God. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He said, we didn't die today. Should we continue to live in it? Or have we forgot that we were we were joined with Christ in baptism? With and, and wait, 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 wait. We joined him in his death. For we died and were buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ has risen from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live a new life. If any man be in Christ. He is a new creature. Yes. Old things pass away. away. Behold, all things become new. Yes. Now, all old things don't pass away. Some things just going to be you. That's what God created you to be. But you know if it's God. Because when God condemn you, convict you, tell you, not condemn you, convict you and tell you, now you know you shouldn't be wearing it. Uh -huh. Now, if God dealt with you, because I ain't going to say nothing to you. Amen. Because of the way I am. And I don't want to offend or hurt nobody. I, but, I, but I don't want to see your, 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 your breasts. I don't want to see all that cleavage and all that stuff up here. I don't want to see Dolly up in here. I ain't trying to see Dolly party. I 
you're trying to see your tattoos all in all different parts that shouldn't be shown. Amen. I'm not trying to see your back with a tattoo on it. I'm not trying to see your big with, with the tattoos all up on it sitting up there. Now, if you got it on your armor and you wear the short sleeves, one, I'm taught your body parts that should be hidden when we come into the body of Christ. It should stay hidden. Yes. Y'all hear me? I hear you. We got men here, young ladies. We got women here, young men. Don't nobody want to see all that hanging out there like that in the pants all the way right here in the drawers up here and you walk around to my I'm cool and everybody seeing your booty. Don't nobody want to see your booty. Amen. Amen. 